Hello, Forecaster here with Lizzie. Hello. And we are going to be playing Factorio. Uh, we're playing on a uh, private server to us. And we have a bunch of mods. And uh, we're just going to. How do you think it? All right, Q. Um, we're just going to play through the game pretty much. We don't really have an end game planned or how far we're going to play. I think we said our primary goal is going to be launching a single rocket. And then we'll see if we are satisfied with that or if we want to continue. So, yeah. Uh, we don't really have any gameplay changing mods. We just have a few quality of life mods, like as you can see, the one that adds these dots to show. I assume that is that they are out of fuel. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's bottleneck. Uh, if it's green, it's operating fully. If it's red, it's run out of stuff to process. And if it's orange, red, or yellow, then its um, output is uh, stuffed up. Yeah, uh, so it's, it's not operating at 100%. Your... Yeah, I'm going to quickly grab your mining drill and some stone. And then just set, him, set the uh, two burner mine doors we've got onto looping into each other for now. Uh, if you want to move out of the way. Yeah, so we're now feed onto each other. And then we can just come in and just grab them every now and then. Yep. Probably good. Yeah, uh, to list the mods we have on our save currently, we have uh, auto deconstruct, um, which when the mining jewels deplete a patch of ore, then there will be much for deconstruction. Um, which only which... matters if you have construction robots in range, of course. Yeah. Or approach but, um... with a personal roboport, which is pretty late game. Yeah, but it was, it was also quite nice because also it, when stuff is marked with deconstruction, it does flag up a yeah. little X on it, so you can see, oh yeah, that's done. Oh yeah. Um, we have bottleneck and the logistics version of bottleneck. So uh, on here we've got let's see these icons of the normal ones. Um, but on the logistics chests, we'll also have uh, icons in there as well to indicate their status. Um, as well as various warning icons saying that if they can't connect to the network or whatever. We've got fully automated vowel layer, because trains. <laughs> um, a mod called Honk, because I wanted uh, horns on the trains. Uh, map ping, so me and four casters can ping to each other. I need to actually look at key binds for that. Uh, picker extended, um, which allows me to do stuff like this. Just nudge stuff around. Oh, um, interesting. Uh, uh, RSO, which Honk currently in the starting area, has given us uh, sort of these items, but in the further, uh, these, sorry, these are all patches, but the further we, out we go, the more um, richer the all patches will become. Uh, we've also got upgrade build, uh, upgrade, uh, um, upgrade planner. Um, for ease and upgrade and stuff, um, and yet yeah, another resource monitor for these resource patches when we get it. Um, yeah, um, handy shortcut to have a uh, forecaster is Shift B by default, I think. Um, this is because uh, Picker will sort of 
not so augment, but it will just grab any sort of stuff things. Um, and that's where you can get sort of resource monitor, blueprint, tape measure if you want a tape measure. Um, that did not work for me. Stuff. Did not. It might be Alt B. Uh, what was it for? You said. Uh, pick mm -hmm. an extended menu. I oh, know. Pick a planning planner planner pick a menu. I I can't name today apparently. It's on you. Uh, or, okay. Or control you, I think. Wait. Yeah. Um. Okay, that adds a button. In the top left. Upgrade planner frame. Is that what you were talking about? Uh, upgrade planner. No, it's uh, not that one. Uh, well, that that is when, uh, which does the thing up at the top, but. Um, in your controls, uh, I think I it is. Don't actually know. Um, what's it called? Oh, yeah. Pl uh, pl uh, in your control settings, pick a bit further extended. It's the planner menu. Uh, the planner menu. Ah, which okay. is uh, shift B. Is default shift B. Yeah. Oh. Um, I thought you said shift V first. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pick also does another another nice uh, few nice things. Um, oh, okay. Uh, the mapping tool is something you can just craft infinitely of. So, um, That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, uh, so, what do you press for the the ping? Was uh, the ping? You need to go into inventory and under production, uh, there's the map ping tool, and just put on hot bar and then. Oh, it's an item. Kit. Yeah. It's oh. weird enough that it's not in the uh, picker menu, because that would be something to add in there. Um... Huh. Interesting. So, they were saying, ah, oh, they were saying about different things. We could say, no, oh, this one, and just ping it. What's the. When I pick something from the. Oh. There's a, a menu that appears that's bar limit when I pick up the ping thing. When I pick up a transport belt, it says bell lanes. Uh, um, There's a lot of new stuff for me here because I've never used any of these uh, mods yeah, before. This is mainly part of picker. Um, I'm not sure why the bar limit shows up when you have the uh, ping tool, but... I have need some wood. Uh, the bar limit sort of uh, when it's set to zero, it's sort of unrestricted. But you can sort of from the get go. Uh, so I've got a chest here. Just craft it. Um, and I've set the bar limit to oh. four. Put right. this chest down. It's now then. If you look in this chest, it's yeah. P restricted to four slots. Which, um, in instead of having to do it after placing it, when things can already yeah. put stuff into it. Yeah, because also that way you can set, set it and then sort of just go in like a line and then you've got it all. Um, when you've got yeah. transport built, uh, normally you should be able to press the plus and minus keys on the numpad, but it doesn't seem to be working for me at the moment. But you can basically just do stuff like that. So uh, you can then oh, okay. sort of. Nice. Do that. And then right. if you control shift B, yeah, you, know, the... you get built balances. Huh. They the numpad them. numpad does work for me. Oh, uh so okay, what's broken, what's yeah. this thing then? Uh this is a uh I think what is this? Is a six to six belt balancer. Um but 
the way I got that, um, I need to pick up these things, is with the... Uh, fans for belt. I would have to get my words right. Um, I've just increased the lanes to like six and then did control shift B. And at first that sort of does a six to six or whatever size you selected to like the same size uh, belt balancer. But if you press control shift B again, it then um, gives you the option of doing different balancers. So I can now do a six to eight or a six or seven and stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, we've got an uh, example of the bottleneck stuff. These are both shown yellow because their output is backlogged. Yeah. They are full of coal. just grind away at copper for a bit and iron and stuff to then get some sort of power generation going and then automation stuff. Yep. Star is always a bit slow. Until you start automating stuff. Yeah. At least you I'm get sorry. some machines to start with. Yeah. Are a bit Excuse loud. Me. Yeah. Just need more iron plates. I don't know anything about sort of having the start of resources not so far away from each other, you have to keep going up and down. Yeah. 
Let's see if I can find one too. TFM and if any DJs on, but it's not. It's auto GJ. What? Um, I've got a radio station called Truckers FM uh, on oh. the background. Yeah. And I was wondering if there's actually detail. Uh, if anyone's uh, rain, please. Uh, if any uh, DJs were on, uh, but it's not. It's auto DJ. Oh, I don't need, I need iron plate. Nice that we have water right over here. Yeah. Very fortunate that the pump doesn't require power. Yeah. Because you need the pump to make power. I'm going to be interested in. I think there's a mod for it. Um, where so like you just have a pump which requires manual doing of stuff or something just to get it started, and then when you dump start it. And then continues on the power. Yeah. It's a little uh, pointless, uh, perhaps. Okay, yeah, that. Nope. I noticed the pipette thing doesn't update the icon on the blueprint. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's just so you'd literally utilizing the same blueprint uh, item, I'm not actually making a new one. Yeah. It would be nice if it updated the icon if, when it overwrites it. So you can tell what it is. Yeah. I guess I have some sort of long reach on. Maybe pick it as that. Where did I get this burner? Oh, yeah, it's coming to go on copper. I might just start making a checkerboard pattern of drill and uh, furnace. <laughs> That's just how it turned out. I 
I don't to make transport build and I've never steam engine just yet. Oh, it is. It is a steam engine. I had a burner inside to oh, I put it up there, didn't I? I was about to say, I have a burner inside to somewhere, and then I've lost it. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh. I'm... Okay, blueprints don't auto space power. Uh, yeah. Pylons. That's annoying. And sometimes you also have to be careful with blueprints that um, uh, sort of sort of overlap, um, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? I don't know. I had no idea what I was going to do that. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not mining, need to burn him, so it's not mining drills. Play again. <laughs> yeah. That happens. Notes and signs. Okay. Damn it. So close. Yep. One short. <laughs> there. <laughs> now we just need something to use the power. Yep. Or many, many something. Need need iron plate. Need more iron plate. 
still need my iron plate. I need 23 out of 16 currently. How did you... Right. Okay, I've got iron plate, now I need copper. I have five copper plates. Uh, Use the bunch making. use of electricity. Yeah. So the power is pretty much automated. Yep. For now. Yeah. Till we run out of coal. It's not a huge coal field we have here. Will last a while though. Yeah. Seven, one hundred and seventy-nine thousand coal should last us a while. In my previous single-player playthrough, I had a massive coal field I started next to. It's like I wasn't even close to running out of coal when I switched to oil. Power. We don't have much in the way of oil here either, though. We have two little spots. Uh, power poles. I have power poles. Okay. Alright, so that's got that automated now. Well, that's sort, of, sort of. It's yeah. not being fed coal, but. Yeah, and we can gum sort of pass it down then and dump coal into it. Yeah. That just about reached. <laughs> Should probably do that down here with the copper too. Because why not? Ooh.
that should do. So we're just about at the wrapping up point of episode one. It's going to end the video here. And we'll probably do some stuff off camera. Yeah. Um, Bring more to grind your bits. Yeah. And then we'll be back for the next episode when we are ready to start setting up basic production, um, which we'll need to research first to get the uh, fabricator assembling machine. I guess we might be back for that, setting up research. We'll see, I suppose. But that'll be episode one, and we will see you next time. Bye.